I got a collection of denim bags to show you. I've had some longer than others and I did go a little denim crazy for a bit but I'm over it now. So I want to show you my full collection of denim bags and accessories so stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel and thanks for joining me in the Babe Cave today. It's all about the denim craziness that has happened. <laughs> and I wanted to show my full collection. I'm done buying denim. <laughs> <laughs> for now. <laughs> and I wanted to show everything that I got from the first denim that I got to the newest denim bags that I've got. So let's start with, this is the Chambray signature print and it's called the Cargo. And it comes with this awesome shoulder strap, but I also can change it with my if you have a Coach Emery bag and it's these buckles right here, strap, then you can interchange them and I do that sometimes with this bag. But I love the two little front pockets. The Vaquetta leather is a little bit honeyed now. This is probably four or five years old. I'm not sure I bought it off a of Facebook group. And so this was the first dip uh, in, the, in the water of denim. <laughs> And I loved it, and I love this giant ring. And the inside looks like looks like a dark burgundy. It's a really pretty interior. I did, however, bust the snap closure uh, on the side pocket. Oh well, it happens, right? There's no other pockets on the side. Isn't that a gorgeous interior? Um, so this would be the first one I got a few years back and it is just adorable. I, I believe it's called the Cargo Shoulder. I've showed it a few times and I love this charm on here with the hang tag. So this would be my oldest denim bag. The next one goes along with, I believe these are both outlet bags. <laughs> this is the Coach Nolita 15 in the uh, chambray print. Has leather on the bottom and sides, a cute little hang tag, red up there. I love this. This is probably one of my favorite Nolita 15s of Coach. It just has a dark blue interior. So those two are my my outlet pieces that go together. This next one is a dupe or inspired bag that I got that I was gifted from a company that I don't know if they're any longer in business. <laughs> uh, so of course it's not Marc Jacobs. It is just an inspired bag but it it quenched the, the need for one of those Marc Jacobs denim patchwork bags, and this size is perfect. I believe it's comparable to the small. I could be wrong, but this is the perfect size for me. And I like the yellow detail on the handles. And this one has silver hardware. And here is the interior. It has a yellow pocket and black and then here is the nylon strap that came with it so this dupe of the tote bag is probably my third one next i think i got this last year and i had never seen a denim dooney bag in person or one like this one it has that unique well these are not so unique but i never had the hang tag like this really like that hang tag that's the only way you can tell that this is a dooney i love the stone wash look it is so cute i got it last year and 
these handles are kind of a darker honeyed patina already probably treated leather and the inside of course is my favorite because it's hot pink <laughs> has a middle zipper pocket that is sewn down connected down so nothing slides to the other side it has a small like almost like a Nokia old phone pocket and a zipper here and then like I said the zipper in the middle and it has one, two, and then it has three side pockets on that side and look at this a leather connected key keeper typically these are not leather um, so yeah this is a leather connected key keeper so yeah love the vibrant interior and it has no shoulder strap it's just a handle top carry love this bag I got it probably for under $50 I can't remember but I've never seen one like this let me know if you've seen this bag ever oh here's the bottom and that's like a light pink shade with the the denim so so cute the next two items well I'm currently in this one this actually is a Timu bag and I got it for like $14 and uh, it has silver kind of cheap hardware it has the pleather with the chain detail and you could do crossbody or shoulder it has no back pocket unfortunately but look at that it's the stitching's really good here's the bottom of it and it's one of those bags where you gotta go like this and then it's just a giant it's a giant hole <laughs> so that's kind of not my favorite style but man this thing can hold a bunch of stuff and this is the next item which I got at Walmart and that is the denim wallet and there's the side the back and it has kind of a, a darker metal here's the interior of the billfold it comes with where you can lay your money long ways which I like I don't like folding bills it has a snap closure this was like eight bucks at Walmart it probably still is there I'll be sure and link it down below if I find it it goes with all my denim bags and then finally no not finally <laughs> of course this amazing coach soft tabby this denim this one is my probably my one of my favorites in the top five of my denim <laughs> the timu is last <laughs> let's just say that but yeah you've all seen these coach denim tabbies they are worth it I don't care what anyone says about leather versus denim this is some really nice denim they use good quality got a back pocket you've all seen this on my channel unless you're new it has a light blue interior and it has the shoulder and the crossbody strap but if you noticed on my shorts or on my Instagram I use the coach rainbow strap and it looks so good with this bag and it's comfortable easy to carry these soft tabbies even in the other prints are so comfortable to carry I can't say enough about the soft tabby but this denim one oh the textures the softness everything about it is amazing quality finally my birthday bag and this was from the 2023 I believe this is outlet and it's the Rowan satchel gold hardware has leather on the side and it has a back pocket and it's just a dark denim it's with these nice leather handles it says coach on all these little studs right here can't say enough about this one it's super nice it goes down a little bit it has feet on the bottom I, I noticed that not all Rowan's have feet on the bottom and I think that 
that is so wrong. They all should have feet on the bottom. <laughs> so anyway, this is, has the dark hang tag. I, I really like the, this is not very textured, so I'm pretty sure this is an outlet bag, but I do like, it's just coach. That's all it needs. <laughs> and then here's the inside. Has this strap with it, gold hardware, leather strap. Here's the interior, that dark oxblood maroon interior. And a slip pocket on the other side. Very nice, wide opening. I, you can't go wrong with a Coach Rowan. But it's a bonus if they've got feet on the bottom. Just when I thought I was done with denim, you know I had to add the Carl Lagerfeld denim shoulder bag with this beautiful chain with the denim detail. Love this bag. It is the final denim bag that I have in my collection. That concludes, for now, my denim collection. What do you guys think? Did I... I feel like I've curated my denims. <laughs> I don't feel like I need the denim tabbies. I don't feel like I need any other denim. Like I said, for now. <laughs> if anything goes on sale, you never know. If I like the the style, you never know. But this right now is my current denim collection, and I love all of them. The Timu bag, it was, it you get what you pay for. <laughs> so it's worked out just fine. I just don't like that weird opening where it's just a big, giant well mouth. I mean, <laughs> but anyway, I've got outlet pieces. Dooney, a Dooney denim, and Timu. I think I have an assortment. I've got my wallet. I've got a little catch-all bag. What else do I need? Let me know down below. Is there more? <laughs> I'm sure there are more, but for me right now, I am happy with my denim collection. And time to move on to probably leather, because <laughs> I do love my leather bags, and I think that it's time for a leather bag instead of a denim. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my denim collection. If you did, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's free. And don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss my videos. And uh, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.